Today on Eagle Nation News, as the page turns into a second nine weeks of school, the Prosper High School yearbook staff is already snapping some great photos for this year's yearbook. Landry Long chats with the captain of the yearbook ship, Abby Carte. Music is the universal language, and one Prosper High student is producing his own already. Colton Boston hears what beat Mark Carbajal is walking to. As the temperatures go down, the pumpkins come to town. Nulo Adams is on scene at the Big Orange Pumpkin Patch to see fall festivity come to life. All this and more in today's edition of Eagle Nation News. Good morning, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us. I'm Parker Reynolds. And I'm Maddie Kep. We have a festive fall show for you today highlighting students and autumn fun. So stick around, e and starts right, right now. now. Welcome back, Eagle Nation, and thank you for joining us here in Studio 301. Today is Friday, October 20th. It's great to be back in the studio today, Maddie, and the weather is kind of starting to feel a little cooler. Have you done anything fall related so far? Yeah, Parker, it's been nice to be able to drive with the windows rolled down. Yeah, for sure, and if you've been driving down Highway 380, you may have seen the newest addition to the Gates of Prosper. Isabel Moulter is on scene with more on the new Target. Is Thanks, Parker. I'm here at the new Target that had their soft opening on Tuesday, but their grand opening will be this Sunday on October 22nd. If you look over here, you can see Highway 380 and even further the rest of the Gates of Prosper. This Target will be part of Prosper's three-phase development plan and is now open to the general public, so make sure to check it out. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Isabel. I know. I'm glad it's finally open. Yeah, I visited it yesterday, actually. I'd say it's very similar to other Targets, but the location is definitely what sets it apart. Right, the only thing I was missing was my Halloween decorations. Well, I know a lot of people love Target for different reasons, but it's great to s that people in Prosper and even the surrounding towns have it as a closer option now. And somewhere else that's especially fun during fall times are pumpkin patches. Nula Adams takes a hayride into one that takes the fall spirit to the next level. Thanks, Maddie. Here at Big Orange Pumpkin Farm, things are family run, and they work to make everyone feel like they're a part of the community. We see families out here having fun, so we get family and friends and farm life. So we get to share a lot about the things that we value with our community. But adults aren't the only ones who love the pumpkin patch. I really like to go places like pumpkin patches with my family. The pumpkin patch runs on family and community, but how did it start? About probably 27 years ago, my husband got some pumpkins in the back of his truck on the corner of a street and sold little pumpkins right out of the back of his truck. Not only is the pumpkin patch full of pumpkins, but the animals also play an important role. Well, we've always had a farm. We've always had farm animals and we've always, my husband uh, built the barn and we've always had animals on the farm. The love for this season's spirit is what continues to motivate Big Orange Pumpkin Farm to bring fall to y'all. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Nula Adams. Back to you guys at the desk. The Big Orange Pumpkin Farm will be open until the end of the season, but their petting zoo and cafe are open all year round. I was actually with Nula when we went down to the pumpkin patch, and the fall vibes were so good. Right, I love pumpkins, and this is just the right time for pumpkin spice and everything nice, I guess. Something that wasn't so good was when a performer had to suddenly stop their own show earlier this week. Next up is Talent Talk, sponsored by Cookie Co. In this locally owned and run store, cookies are made with real ingredients, real love, real good. So when you're in the mood for a delicious bite, come try us out at Cookie Co. Frisco. From showstoppers to new announcements, there's always something new in Hollywood. Dylan Mize is in studio with more. Dylan? Thank you, Maddie. This Wednesday, Adam Sandler was hosting a comedy set at SAP Center in San Jose, California. When a fan needed medical attention, he made sure to quiet down the crowd, saying, quote, let's take a few seconds and we'll just let these guys concentrate, all right? Love y'all. After he was sure that the little kid was all right, he rallied the crowd once more, cheering the kid on as he left the building. Thankfully, this morning, NBC News released a statement that the kid is okay and he was just suffering from dehydration.
In much lighter news, Puerto Rican rapper singer Bad Bunny recently announced his 2024 Most Wanted World Tour. Well, he will be stopping at 37 different major cities all across North America from February 21st to May 22nd. This tour will have hits from his newest album that translates to Nobody Know What Will Happen Tomorrow. Personally, I don't listen to Bad Bunny, but I, so I don't know any of his music, but I am always excited for a concert no matter who it is. Keeping with music, one PHS student is already producing songs of many genres. Colton Boston takes a listen to his story in music. Saxophone player Mark Carbajal has grown up in a musical family. So when he had the chance to mess around with the piano, he always took the opportunity. I play around, mess with keys on the piano. I kept finding scales like these, just like the black keys. They all sound great together. So I just started playing around with those and finding other chords and just like random stuff like that. And like, I just figured out I wanted to like compose jazz things. But his musical talent hasn't just benefited himself. Done some converting for us when we're learning drill team tunes and when we don't have an audio for it. And so he's been really awesome and has done some of that for us. And with that talent in music, Mark plans to take it into the future with him. I want to like take this into a bigger industry and like make music for bigger producers, especially like rap rappers. I really want to make music for rappers, but also I really just like making solo music, like instrumental. Mark has even made songs for multiple genres, like rap, video game soundtracks, or even some late night study songs. And he even does all of the album art himself. Plus, the song that you've been hearing throughout this video was made by him. Reporting for Equal Nation News, I'm Colton Boston. It is just so cool to see Mark expressing himself through his passion. Yeah, it is. And on the topic of making noise, Prosper Sports continue to bring the energy. Game time is next. The Prosper High School Computer Science Club will be having a meeting on the 25th of October in room 1260 after school. We hope to see you there. With many of our Prosper sports being halfway done, our Prosper athletes have been hard at work. Bradson Swick is in studio with this week's edition of Game Time. Thanks, Parker. Hitting it off strong with volleyball on Tuesday, our Lady Eagles faced off against Zenton Brazo and they completely shut them down with a final score of three to nothing. A little fun fact for you guys: this is the 13th time this season our Lady Eagles have completely swept the team three to nothing. A player who completely dominated this game is Aiden Ames, who had 19 kills with an average of six kills per set and an outstanding 11 blocks. Congratulations to our Lady Eagles on this exciting win. Now splashing in the swim and dive on Wednesday, our swim and dive team competed against Walnut Grove, Rock Hill, and Capel at the PISD Natatorium. And they're expected to compete against Walnut Grove and Reedy on November 1st at 6 p.m. Hitting it over to golf news, our Prosper golf team is playing in the Argyle Invitational right now at the Robson Ranch Golf Course. Good luck to those competing. Finally, switching over to football tonight, our Prosper Eagles will go up head-to-head -head against Denton Brazel on their home turf. Good luck to our Prosper Eagles. That's all for this week of Prosper Sports. Back to you at the desk. Thanks, Bradson. Good to know that our Eagles are still dominating, just like our yearbook staff. Yeah, from the beginning of the school year to the final couple of weeks, the Prosper High School yearbook staff worked tirelessly to capture all of the highs and lows of high school. Landry Long sat down with the chief editor to see how this year's yearbook is going so far. Yearbook is honestly like pretty much a full-time job. A lot of people kind of think it's really easy or like we just pull different pictures together and put it together. There's a lot to it. We start in the summer and we don't end till close to the end of sc the school year. But it's just all about keeping, you know, the destination in your view and we always end up coming out so proud of our book. The destination can be daunting for some due to the extreme effort it takes to complete a Prosper Eagle yearbook. I was extremely shy when I started taking yearbook. I remember like hearing that we had to go get like quotes or we had to go take pictures at events and I was like I did not want to do that like I was just not a huge people person and I feel like three years later after doing this for so long it's really helped me get outside of my bubble and like I really encourage anyone who struggles with that to take this class because it's like perfect for that. Stepping out of their comfort zone is what makes the end product so special not just for those in the photos but also behind the camera. This is a student run publication the editors have to make the best decision for the publication which it's a 
over 400 page publication. Abby understands that we're running a business and she's been doing this for almost four years. So she has a lot of training. She also leads by example. She's patient and understanding, um, but she is hardworking and very self-disciplined. On her fourth year in the program, Abby is determined to capture the highest moments of students' high school careers. I mean, there's just some like key moments I can think of that like core memories of showing people different pictures or them seeing themselves in the book that's my favorite mem like favorite moment is when the books come out and everyone's you know flipping through the book and they're like oh that picture is so good or that picture is so cool or that like perfectly captures what that moment felt like and I that's just a really like special moment and I just love doing it. The yearbook staff leaves their mark on PHS one photo at a time. Reporting for Eagle Nation News, I'm Landry Long. To see just a few of the yearbook staff's photos, you can check out their Instagram at Prosper Eagles Yearbook. That's right. I've seen they've taken a lot of pictures at football games, so maybe you can get a feature tonight. For sure. Well, that's all we have for you today, Eagle Nation. Thank you for letting us tell your stories. Once again, I'm Maddie Kipp. And I'm Parker Reynolds. Have a great day, and go Eagles! Eagles.